Even you cannot deny what happened. I most certainly can. I deny it. See? Easy as Zwiebelkuchen. I saw you shoot Victor Cassidy. I saw it. Yes, I shot Victor, but I did not murder him. I acted in self-defense. Oh, he was handcuffed. He was unarmed. Unarmed. The man had a detonator in his possession. Or do you not recall that the clinic went kaboom mere seconds after our escape? Victor was a dangerous man. I agree. Yes, he was. But it still wasn't self-defense. Got it? Fine. Perhaps I was not defending my own self. Oh, whose self were you defending? Detective West, perhaps? Oh. Victor would have come after Nathan sooner or later. I had no choice but to kill him, otherwise he would have hurt my son. And really, you are no position to talk or judge. Not after what you did to Cesar. <sighs> I'm so sorry. For what? Missing your husband? So if anybody knows what it's like to miss someone you love, it's, it's me. Yeah, but even so, you get to see your badass P.I. weeping and crying all the time, and after two years, you just, I feel like it shouldn't affect me like this. nothing when you lose somebody that you love as much as you love Jason. Yeah, I know, but I think, I think that's part of the problem. I mean, I just took, I, I took my wedding ring off, and, but, but for some reason, I feel like I didn't have closure. Maybe, maybe it's because I never actually got to say goodbye. I wish I had something better to say than I'm sorry. It's okay. I appreciate you listening. I can't imagine losing someone like that. Maybe because I can't imagine having him in the first place. Well, I hope you never find out what it's like. We couldn't even give him a proper funeral. Why not? They dragged the harbor for days. But they never found Jason's body. Mother, what are you doing here? You know you're no longer welcome. I realize that I am persona non grata in Casa Monica, but I have to impose on your good nature. If this is some kind of act, it's not going to work. It's not an act. I need your help, Ned, please. What is the matter with you? Why would you do that to Ned? Why would you go after him? Can't you take no for an answer? No, oh. Alexis, I can't. Not when it comes to you. Well, this is just great. What is? Well, everything, Dante. We don't know anything about Luke. Now we got Jerry Jacks in the mix, not to mention Heather Weber. Heather Weber? Don't tell me she's on the loose again. No, no, if she was, I would I would know okay. about it. Maybe not on the loose yet, but I had a vision of her last night running around free. Oh, my. Look, not that we doubt your uh, abilities or anything. I get it. My visions aren't always exactly on the nose, but they do have a habit of coming through one way or another. I'll give you that. You have a pretty impressive track record. Okay. Dante, I, I understand that Heather is supposed to be locked up tight, but... Could you just go check on her? I would really, it would put my mind at ease if you could just go and make sure. Hey, yeah. What's up? I was just waiting for the morning coffee to kick in. What's up with you? Did you talk to Anna? Yeah, I met her at the Metro Court. She, uh, she agreed to look into this new information. About my mother? Kiki brought me up to speed. Just when you thought you could put it to bed, right? Look, I'm sorry. I know, I know this puts you in a difficult position, both of you. But this is my father's murder we're talking about here. If Anna doesn't find Ava, I will. On the next General Hospital, have you had any dealings with Jerry Jacks? Ned, please, you have got to help me. You're not Jason. Franco made all the arrangements. Did you not know that? Something's not right. You're still planning revenge against Carly. 